Hello and welcome. Recently, I've been dying to play some classic couch co-op games again. However, after I took a look around, I realized that I can only really play my old games with me, myself, and I. So I had to look for other solutions. My first thought was I had to go outside and make some new friends. But then I remember that this is the future and everything is online. So why couldn't I play my old games with my online friends? So I initially looked out to find if there was a solution. I originally thought that it was going to be an impossible task with some grandiose setup, some firewall configuration and jerry-rigging some remote software. However, after looking into it a little bit and doing some configuring, it was shockingly easy to set up Steam, RetroArch, so I could play my games with a friend half a country away. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Store. At 16-Bit, we pride ourselves in our designs and the quality of our printed products. From our display stands to our styluses, our cases, shells, and more. Explore our selection at 16bitstore.com today and get 15% off your next order with offer code 16BITREVIEW when you order two or more items. Now you may be wondering, how did I play Crashing Racing with someone half a country away? Well, it's all possible thanks to Valve and Steam Remote Play and Remote Play together. Steam Remote Play is a simple premise and it's similar to the PlayStation 4's Remote Play feature. It allows you to access and play your Steam library from your main computer anywhere with a solid internet connection which is an amazing feature so long as you have a PC with Steam installed, another device with Steam or the Steam Link app installed which is linked to your computer, and when configured you can literally use or play your PC games anywhere on potentially anything. I personally think this is a brilliant idea. But the amazing software developers at Valve took it one step further. You see, if Valve already has the software to stream your audio and video from your PC and return an input control to your uh, computer, then why couldn't that remote input be considered player two? That is, in a nutshell, what Steam Remote Play Together is. It's not available for every game, and in order for it to work, the remote player will need to have their own controller, physical or otherwise, else they would technically have full remote access to your computer, which is kind of a netty no-no. But if you are a game developer, what this means is if you have a couch co-op game and you want online play and you don't really want to implement it, all you really need to do is to enable this feature and now your players can play with their friends online. And I am shocked with how many games are that I own are already compatible with this feature. From various LEGO games to classic beat-em-ups like TMNT Shred of Revenge and more. Which is great, especially if you are a retro gamer like myself, since RetroArch on Steam has Steam Remote Play together enabled on it. For those of you who don't know what RetroArch is, it's a platform for emulators from classic systems like the Atari 2600 or NES to newer systems like the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. And while the Steam version is missing some pretty important emulators like Dolphin, it's not impossible to add them in or even remap where RetroArch should look for its core and core info files. And what this means for you is that if you have the appropriate ROMs and BIOS files, you can play your old couch co-op games online. And for the first time in decades, I was able to play CTR and Crash Bash with people again. For the first time, I was actually able to play Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash with more than two players because I was able to enable the multi-tap. My brother and I were able to play San Andreas multiplayer despite being an entire country apart. 
Sure, it wasn't perfect. I had to install RetroArch twice with a local version maintaining the cores and the Steam version that maintains the saves. And yes, mapping everything in RetroArch sucks. It's, and that's not even to get started with the various internet issues that I ran across while using this. But compared to trying to get everyone physically together to play, I feel this was worth my time to set up. Especially with, if you're not focused on doing RetroArch, how easy it is to do. But with that said, RetroArch isn't the only way to play older games remotely. A lot of emulation collections are remote play together enabled, like the Sega Genesis collection or the Capcom Arcade Stadium. And at the end of the day, I'm just happy that I can still play my couch co-op games again. It's generally been years since I've been able to play these games with anyone. But anyways, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have yourself a good day, and as always, take care.